I had the pleasure to actually uh, be able to hear what you had to say to uh, John McCain. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the, the thing I found most interesting about it was um, that you, you made a statement. You weren't you weren't asking him a question like everybody else. You 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 made a statement to him, and you furthermore you weren't even looking for a response. No. You know, and and you you showed that by you made you said your piece, and then you you proceeded to leave. You know, you wanted to make your voice heard to John McCain, uh, and express yourself in that way. What what inspired you to do that? Well, to be quite honest with you, I feel that most most politicians out there these days don't really listen to we the people anymore. You know, it's they're public servants, that's what they're supposed to be, but they've strayed away from that. And I figured, you know, considering McCain's record and, you know, how he's done opposite of what his constituents want, he probably wasn't going to, you know, listen to what I said. So I just wanted to to you know, give my credentials as to why I know a little bit about what's going on over there, and you know, speak my piece. And I decided to you know, after I said my piece, to leave. Uh, and, but he stopped me, and he stopped me respectfully the first time. So I decided to turn around and hear what he had well, to say. When when you um, when you decided to leave, um, prompted was that something that you you preconceived in doing? That? Today's Tuesday. It hasn't even been a week since the McCain no. thing. Um, how has that changed you? Has that changed you in any way? Well, emotionally, or you know, in any way, it's uh, it, it's given me a sense of purpose, and also I've been trying to talk to you know some activists here in town, and my goal is to you know get people from all different ideologies you know together to stop all this infighting to have one big voice to tell our politicians out there, hey, you work for us, and it's about time that you start listening to us. And since the video, I mean, it's gotten a little bit of a, virus, a viral status. People tend to take me more seriously now, and uh, I think that's the best thing that, that's came of that, because they say, hey, look, at this guy isn't just posting stuff on Facebook. He's going out and wanting to talk to these politicians and, you know, tell them from his heart what he, what he, uh, what he has to say. Okay. Yeah, he did stop you. He yeah. he 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 said, "Sir, before you leave," mm -hmm. and and then, without any prompting, he he seemed to answer your statement as if it was a question. Yeah. As if as if uh, to to justify um, his side of the story mm -hmm. versus hearing your statement with an open and an honest heart, which I assume by your actions, that was your intention. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well that, um, I, I think what you said was absolutely fabulous. You know, I, I think um, it takes a, a really brave heart, you know, to be able to share what you know as, as horrible and as, as, as ugly as it can be, you know, the, the realities, your reality of the situation. Um, and, um, and to actually stand up and share that with someone of authority, someone that not only is of authority, but is also in charge of this country, in charge of what kind of laws and, mm -hmm. and how we are as a people. My name is Brian Bates. I'm a former Marine Infantry Combat Veteran. Combat Province, Afghanistan, 2005, also 2006, Hadith, Iraq, roughly a year after the incident, which I, I know you're aware of there. Um, I was also a private security contractor working with the Army Corps of Engineers who were leading the reconstruction effort in Afghanistan. <laughs> I'm no stranger to Al-Qaeda, their affiliates, and the people of the region near Syria. I'm here to tell you that I'm completely opposed to military intervention. My reasons, My reasons I do not believe we can differentiate between the good and the bad guys. I have lived amongst the people in that region. I have sat and ate dinner with many people and have been in many houses over there. 
And I can tell you that although there are many good people in the region, the cultural, religious, and ideological differences from us Americans are too great for us to understand the relationships between the rebels and extremists. We need to stay out of it. Yeah! yeah. But I do not want to see more brothers and sisters killed for people who will quickly change sides and denounce America as soon as they get the help they want. Yep. I still have many brothers currently serving, and I can speak for the majority of them. They oppose any action in Syria as well. You, sir, do not represent me or my people. Is yourself that has sacrificed so much for his country does not understand the dangers of getting America involved with the situation in Syria. Yeah. Well, before you leave, sir, thank you. Um, I thank you for your service to the country. I'm grateful for it. I also have a son who's a Marine, Lance Corporal, served in Iraq. Combat, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines. I have a son who's a Navy pilot. They don't share your view. And when you think you speak for the majority of men and women in the military, in my view, you speak for yourself. Because I talk to men and women in the military all the time. Oh, come on. They, oh, 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 I have no more time for you, Senator. So, oh, oh, so sir, most of I have no more time for you. Thank you, Thank you for your service. Thank you, Brian. I said, You're a hero. I wouldn't have changed anything I said to him or the way I said it to him, but if I had a second chance to sit down and speak with him, I would uh, I would like to tell him that he was wrong. I, I definitely don't just speak for myself. And, um, you know, one of the big reasons he gave is because he talks to military families all the time. Well, let me, let me fill you in on a little secret there. You talk to some enlisted family, some guy that's active duty or officer for that matter, that's in the military, they're not going to go and tell a U.S. Senator exactly what they think. No, they're going to tell the U.S. Senator what the U.S. Senator wants to hear. So that was his reasoning for disrespecting me and telling me that I only spoke for myself, but he's so, that just shows how disconnected he is. So you're saying it's almost like um, the king's not wearing clothes kind of mentality exactly. for his position. Exactly. Okay.